Hello LEGO fans, Jarv Bricks here with another city update. So I've done quite a bit of work this week, but starting over on the side where I've done the least amount of work, I've just moved a few buildings around. You'll notice the brick bank is now on this side of the city. It was a little bit too long, so I had to add a slope to the back and make it one brick smaller so it wouldn't hit the roof. And the reason that um, I put it over here is uh, previously it was on the other side of the city in a corner position and it not being a corner building it looked a little bit daft so i dug this one out that i was going to redo to be designed but never got around to it so i've just moved it back into this corner position and i think it looks uh, quite nice there we'll readdress it in the future but for now it's fine as it is I added uh, the penguin and his gang up onto the roof of the Grand Hotel. And that's it on this side of the city. So just moving around this side. Now you notice I've put um, Joker and Harley Quinn and two henchmen hiding behind the apartment building plotting something. So I did some work on the Palace Cinema on the two wings it's two studs higher than it previously was and in the middle section it's three studs higher i wanted to put a little bit more detail in it because it's an older style building that's um, basically just been painted and um, so everything's white apart from the uh, two micro mini figures i've only got one in white so i thought i'll just shove two in gold for now until i get a second white one um, and i think it looks quite nice I uh, also included the Justice League, I put them set up on the roof. As you can see, the flash was a little bit late. And you can see uh, how he's ran, the direction he's ran from on there as well. So really pleased with how that turned out. If you've been keeping up with my video updates, you'll notice that I've first of all been working on Chinatown, but uh, the Gotham PD, uh, that was put up last week the week before i think it was um, so that's all detailed on the inside and if you want to see more please look at some of the previous videos uh, for that so over to chinatown where i've been doing quite a bit of work over the last few days i really like the overall view of chinatown city gardens there looking fantastic i will be dismantling that as i've said in the future but for now i just think it looks so good that uh, i'm going to keep it that little bit longer so going in on this building here you'll notice that i've made it a little bit smaller you've got the um, pigsy shop on the ground floor I'll try not to get the lanterns into the focus um, it previously was the size of this building here sticking out which was blocking the city garden so i wanted to make it a little bit smaller um, which was brought its own difficulties trying to get that awning at the front the brown one um, around this side was a little bit problematic but uh, i think it worked out nicely and the roof being smaller freed up a lot of those modified arches so i was able to get that um, chinese roof style uh, on the uh, top a little bit better than the previous one I think and then also the big sign on the top it was sticking out of the building but now it's on the top so I thought it looks quite nice with all the other signs on the roofs uh, on the city gardens and on the China Chinese building on the left so just uh, added all of this detail over here you'll notice the floor is a different color so I've used the light bluish gray tile just to differentiate it from the road as previously it just looked like a continuation of the road uh, i'm running low on those tiles now but uh, i thought it, it looks great just uh, making that change if you recall i did say i was going to replace all the water around the edge of city gardens so that's what i have done it's now been tiled up so you can just walk into it without getting your feet wet So now if you look on the left of Chinatown, so on this side of the building, um, you've got the um, temple that I've just dismantled slightly. 
and I'll just come to that in a little bit from the other side. And here I've just put the um, an advertisement block. And you've got a few um, cinema posters on each side, and then you notice the 250 meters to the museum. I don't think it is that because it's just there. Um, so, uh, and I've just got the um, solar panel on the roof, which is from a road light from the road pack. So from the middle section of the city, uh, here you've just, it's, it's not complete as you can see. Uh, I want to put a bridge, but I want to use the Chinese bridge from the spring festival set, which is out of stock. So I've not been able to get that yet. Um, so that's why this is incomplete. I've ran out of the dark blue gray tiles to finish tiling up this section of the city and you've got clutch powers there looking at the sign of his picture on the other side of that advertisement stand and I've also run out of the dark tan tiles as well so I've just um, done as much of that as I can over here here you've got the ninjas coming to see their fallen comrade the statue of him there so I've just redesigned this whole size a little bit smaller uh, but I wanted to keep the water feature so it's just like a, a pond and you've got the um, dojo master kneeling inside with his students behind and um, I just thought that looked um, really nice and different from just having a building along this side so I might extend this area when I get the um, Chinese Spring Festival gardens I'm not 100% sure yet but I'm going to cross that bridge when I come to it so I've just got all of the market stalls still on this side. I think they look great. So I want to extend them over here as well. So you can see this side isn't complete. So um, that is something I will be addressing in a future video. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'll notice that I have completed my Wayne Manor mock. Uh, my last video was going into a bit more detail on this. So as you see, it's a little bit incomplete. There's a few studs missing as I've used a lot of dark bluish gray tiles on that, which I wasn't able to finish. And the only thing I've changed recently is the glass on the doors there, uh, just to make it a little bit more fancy. And of course, Wayne Manor would not be complete unless there was a bat cave underneath. So I made this about a month ago. And if you want to see this in more detail, there's a video under my mock section on my playlists uh, where I just highlight that a little bit more. So really pleased with the way the uh, Wayne Manor turned out. It was the Gothic style, but not too dark and dreary. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. And that's it on this side. Other than I just moved a couple of buildings into this little cul-de-sac here, uh, just to um, finish it off a little bit. So you can't see the train track those buildings I don't particularly like and will be going in the future but for now that's it with this city update I hope you liked what I've been doing this week I think the uh, whole of the Chinatown um, starting to look the way I want it to look I'm pleased with the how the palace cinema uh, turned out I've now got all of the minifigures in the city as well which has um, given it a lot more and detail and depth and making it feel alive as always um, please if you have any suggestions for my city positive ones or negative ones uh, please feel free to express them as they do help out the city and of course if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those city updates so thank you for watching and goodbye